Some mistakes will just be deal breakers when creating a UI or UX design portfolio. And if you make these mistakes, even though your work might be good, you won't get the chance to prove it because you don't land any interviews. So in this video, I'll cover the five biggest UI or UX design portfolio mistakes I've seen as a freelancer and as a product designer at Spotify. Now over to the first mistake, explaining your full drawn out process. These things will generally be brought up during the interview so you don't have to go into all the detail on your portfolio page. It's going to be too long, it's going to be drawn out, it's going to be boring and you're going to lose the recruiter in the early stages. And you have to keep in mind that a portfolio consists of much more sales and storytelling than you think. So the solution to this is to Treat your portfolio projects like stories, almost like a sales pitch that will get your thinking, your thought process across the board as quickly as possible. Now, the second mistake I see is portraying your projects like everything just went perfectly. No one's gonna be impressed with a perfect outcome. It's just gonna be skepticism all over it. And it's not gonna show your capacity for problem solving, which is a designer's biggest job. So the issues and the problems and the obstacles that you face when going through a project is going to be the most interesting parts for a recruiter when looking at your portfolio. So the solution here would be to front the hiccups, front the challenges and your solution to those challenges as a main thing in your portfolio. The third mistake, making your portfolio complex and flashy. It's not about the portfolio itself, it's about the work within your portfolio. So as long as you have good enough UX and good enough UI in portfolio, you're good. So the solution here is to focus on the work as the main character of your portfolio, not the website or not the flashiness or the complexity of the website that you built to host your work. Also, if you do decide to make it too complex or too flashy, you might end up doing the fourth mistake, which is you don't even publish the portfolio in the end. And this generally happens because you focus so much on making the portfolio a work of art. You tweak the gradients, you tweak the animations, you try to make it so cool and so complex and so flashy that you forget about the most important things. So the solution here would be to view your portfolio as a constant work in progress. It's something that's always going to evolve. The most important thing is to get it out there, to publish it so that recruiters, companies can see your work. Now, this doesn't mean that your portfolio should be sloppy or not well designed, which brings us to the fifth mistake, neglecting the design of the portfolio itself. This is probably the biggest turnoff for a recruiter, like the actual portfolio itself not being well designed. And this is also something I saw sometimes when I was working at Spotify and we were recruiting designers that the portfolio itself has design flaws. The UI doesn't look great or the UX is weird. That could be a super big turnoff that ended up making us not choosing that particular designer. So be very cognizant of this. As for the solution, instead of making it flashy or complex, make it functional, make it good enough so that you can highlight the things that matter in your portfolio, which is the work. Now, if you're looking to get started with your portfolio today, check out this video here. I think that will be super helpful in this case. Now, until the next one, have a great life. We'll talk soon. Ciao.